All right, welcome in everybody. In this lesson, I'm going to I'm going to conquer my fears. So I'm going to attempt to work on the connecting rod. So I've been kind of avoiding that for a while. I'm going to go to new, new. I was going to cheat and see what other content users have done to create that. But then I'm like, you know what? Let me just do it on my own because maybe I'll do it differently than they do and you can get other variations of how to go about doing it so everything is not exactly the same which you know makes it better so i'm gonna go to english i'm gonna go to standard create i'm gonna start my 2d sketch on this xy plane so i'm gonna start with a circle the leftmost circles the center point start on my origin i'm gonna create the Inside circle has a diameter of one. That's one. The outside circle, same center point, has a diameter of 1.25. And then Let's see. Yeah, let me just, let me stop. Let me stop right there. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude this ring in both directions. So symmetrically, that has a, what is that? What is that? Is that mm, one? Looks like one is the width of this. So yeah, one. It's already set to one up here. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to turn on the visibility of the this one, the XY plane. I'm going to start a 2D sketch on that plane. And I'm going to draw the right side kind of half circle. And I'm going to go circle center point. I'm going to draw it way up here just for now. And then... This has a, the inner side, the inner circle has a diameter, or it has a radius of one, which is a diameter of two. I'm gonna cheat and just do that, do a little math here. And then I'm gonna go the same center point for the outer circle. That has a radius of 1.25, which would be a diameter of 2.5. And so why I drew it way up there. So I'm going to um, let me use my horizontal constraint. I'm going to go here and here. And that yanks it down. That way I know that they're, they're even in line. And then I'm going to dimension from the center of this to the center of this. Down at 6.50. 6.5 and then I don't need this full circle I only need half of that so I'm gonna draw a line from this bottom quadrant straight up and I'm gonna trim off that 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 and I'm going to finish my sketch I'm going to I'm going to extrude this symmetrically and that's one and it's already set to one so i'm gonna hit okay right there now here's here's where the fun begins i'm going to start another 2d sketch on the same plane here i'm going to try to draw on the shape of this middle gobbly goo so i'm going to draw a line Kind of from here straight across. Let me, um, what can I do? I'm gonna dimension that line from here to here. That's gonna be, um, it's 0.75 divided by two. And then I'm gonna offset this line. That's 0.75.
And then what I want to do is I'm going to extend this line to the circle. Wait, can I extend it to the circle? I probably need to, I probably need to um, project geometry. This, maybe this. Now let me try to extend it there. Boom, boom. So that goes all the way there on that side. Over here, it gets kind of wonky. So I'm going to... I'm gonna start a sketch or a line from here straight up. This is gonna be um, 0.5. And then it's gonna go over to the left, 0.75. It's gonna go down 0.5. And it's gonna go over, I'm just gonna draw it over just to the left a little bit. I'm not worried about the dimension right now. So there. Um, then I'm going to out, kind of way out in the open here, I'm gonna draw a circle. The center point somewhere, I'm gonna, this needs to be, it tells me that this has a radius of two, which would be a diameter of four, like so. So then I'm going to I'm going to use my tangent constraint. So I want to bring this down to this line here. I'm going to extend this line to the circle and I'm gonna trim this part out. I'm gonna trim that part out. And then I need, I need to dimension this. So this needs to be uh, 0.25. And that should bring it over to the right where it needs to be. Is that right? Something doesn't look from here to here. Is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Let me do a little bit of math here. Hold on one second. Hold that thought. Yeah, that should be it. Okay, so then um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. It's going to be like a center line from the center of the circle. Just kind of straight across to the right, way, way out like that. I'm going to select this line and I'm going to turn it into a center line here. And the reason being, uh, what I want to do is I want to mirror. Let me see if I can bring this line back. I guess I could bring it there, even with that. Um, I'm going to mirror. And it says select, I'm gonna select this line, this line, this line, this line, this line. For my, my mirror line is gonna be the center line that is created. I'm gonna hit apply. So I kind of took what I had up here and just kind of made a flip copy there. Um, that should be good right there. So then if I, if I click done, I wanna finish my sketch. I want to extrude, if I can, this and this bottom piece. I want to go in both directions. It's only going to be 0.5 for the thickness of that. I'm going to hit OK. Sweet. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to round the circle up here, or the half circle. So that has a radius of 0.25. So for my fillet, I'm gonna give it a radius of 0.25. And I'm gonna click this edge, this edge. I'm gonna click down here at the bottom, two edges there and there. I'm gonna hit apply. Uh, I'm going to then start a sketch on this front face. And I'm gonna project geometry, this half circle, this half circle. So that way I get my center dots. I'm gonna then do a circle, center point. Um, this has a diameter of 0 0.25. 0 0.25, same thing here, circle. Diameter of 0.25. I'm gonna finish my sketch. I'm gonna extrude those two circles. I'm gonna extrude cut. 
all the way through like so and then we're almost done we're almost there i'm going to uh i'm going to start a 2d sketch on this face here i need to cut out the little carving thing so i'm gonna i'm gonna need to use my slot again so it's probably under your rectangle so look for your center to center slot here um, i'm gonna start it on this line here somewhere here and drag it straight over that has a it's gonna be three inches from center to center oh i didn't want that i did not want that let me uh let me i don't want that let me go do this again let me click it on here first and then i'm gonna i'm gonna go this is uh the height of that is 0.5 0.5, and now I can dimension center to center. I'll do it this way. Fine, have it your way. This will be three. Um, and then from the center of this to this front edge, that is two. There we go. Um, 0.5, I did that, did that. It. Making sure I got it all. Okay, so I'm going to finish my sketch here. I'm going to extrude cut. That's going to go 0.125 is that depth. 0.125. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to mirror this feature here and then the mirror plane is going to be this plane you see it hopefully it shows on the other side there it is and then just hit okay so there is our connecting rod i'm going to turn off the visibility of this plane here um let me yeah 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 that looks good so then i'm going to i need to give it a, a carbon steel material so up at the generic, I'm gonna go to steel carbon. I like kind of like that. It's nice and shiny. I'm gonna go to uh, okay. I'm go up to my view here. I kind of like the way that lighting is. I might leave it as default IBL. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. So I'm not gonna change anything else to it. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna file save. Make sure you save it. Um, I already made one to practice. I'm gonna name this connecting rod two. I think I'm gonna use this one because I like I like the way it looks. Connecting rod two. All right, so we we conquered our demons, or probably not your demon, but mine. That was my fear. So then the next one we'll do. I did the tube hanger. We'll jump over to the angle latch um next one so hope to see you back make sure you like and subscribe tell your friends have them join the more the better right all right so y'all be good be safe peace